afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rachel Reardon, and this is my partner, Emily Cotter, and it is our privilege to represent Mr. Martin Luther in the case before you today. You have all heard the prosecutor explain what he hopes to be proven, but the prosecutor did not tell you all the facts. The prosecutor has identified my client as a heretic, which is a person believing or practicing heresy, the willful and persistent rejection of any article of faith by a baptized member of the church. But in this fact, these supposed witnesses are really corrupt men who take new suggestions as a threat against their authority granted to them by the Catholic Church. My prosecu the prosecution has explained that my client, Martin Luther, has been rebelling against the authority of the Roman Catholic Church. The prosecution's witnesses say that my client has blatantly spread rebellion, but since when is knowledge rebellion? Since when is trying to better an institution illegal? It, if it is true, and this action is illegal, then is it also true that no one should help others and point out the wrongdoings, even if it is to ease the lives and pain of their peers? That is what my client did. My client, Martin Luther, is a God-fearing man and simply tried to point out the flaws of his beloved faith and the ways the Catholic Church presented it. All he was trying to do was fix the problems that appeared and to better the church so that it could continue to bring others towards God. My client's 95 Theses have spread the wrongdoings of the church and the current problems that reside in it, such as nepotism, the giving of church positions to family members who have no training, the simony, the sale of church positions, the sale of indulgences, and they, these are all outlined in his 95 Theses. In this day and age, we are in the middle of a golden age. Knowledge is what makes us strong. We ask that you would keep an open mind and listen to all the evidence and return with a verdict of not guilty.